birch trees and everything felt fresh and new. If it was all like this, staying wouldn't be a difficult decision to make. We soon reached a village of wooden houses and the locals clustered round to see the strangers. They were serfs dressed in rough working tunics and they were welcoming in that way the Russians have, nothing ever done by halves. When the doctor trooped out his usual story of having lost our transport, bowls of thick cabbage soup appeared with plates of sour black bread and pickled mushrooms. Even when they're gloomy, Dodo said, you get the feeling they're enjoying it. It was all right for her. She was quietly slipping the dry bread into her bag for fear of upsetting our host. I had nowhere to hide mine and had to keep eating it whilst they watched and nodded. You want more? they said. No, no, really, <laughs> it's fine. Very nice, I choked. When the doctor announced we were English, they were eager for news of our travels. Had we seen the Tsar or Napoleon? Was it true the French were planning to invade Russian soil? It seemed that we'd landed in 1812. Oh, said Dodo cheerfully, like the overture, you know, bells and cannons. Will you be quiet, child, hissed the doctor. And he made encouraging noises for our hosts. Yes, Bonaparte might well invade, but he wouldn't get far, and if the village was 50 miles from Moscow, then he was sure it was safe. Is he lying? muttered Dodo. I thought it was a victory. Can't remember, I said. But the serfs seemed reassured, and they wouldn't take payment either. Just as well, since the doctor rarely had the right currency. They soon pointed us in the direction of the landowner's house, to whose estate they were tied. It seemed to me that they weren't much more than slaves, but they seemed content. The landowner, Count Grigory Nikitin and his family, threw open the doors of their big white wooded house and seemed as delighted as their serfs to see us. It was the same procedure again. Napoleon, the Tsar, cabbage soup. The doctor insisted that it would be impolite to refuse and tucked in with relish. It was better soup this time, and there were pancakes with jam and soured cream to follow. And so you stayed? Yes, we did. Getting your feet under the table, isn't that 